All right, guys, we're back. You, we're here. This you who? Mm -hmm. I you. love you. Yeah, you do. I do. Mm -hmm. I've loved you who since Wonderama. Wow. When they give us for a six hour tape, uh -huh. a you who and a cross hot dog. Okay. Because okay. those were the sponsors. You get one and one and one for six hours. Wow. Wow. That's terrible. Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. Amy, invite whoever you want. That even, wasn't a gang sign. I had niche. Even, even the, just um, send it out to everybody. You're pushy. Yes, I am pushy. Send it out to everybody. I'm yeah. just happy, Amy. Share it. Share it, Amy. Because I can't do it right now. You know how computers are. When you want them to work one way, they work the other way. Yeah, they're like husbands. Yep, there you go. Amy agrees. Thanks, Amy. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Can you hear us? Let's not worry about the stragglers because it's six o'clock. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Here we are. You're going to you're going to be interviewing me today. Wait a minute. That's not in my contract. Oh well, too bad. Oh great. You know All what? Right. The, you the know name what of today's doing? show is small, medium, <laughs> and large. <laughs> Small, medium, and large. And this is the Disney version. <laughs> so my first question is, who are you and how did you find me? <laughs> <laughs> who am I? Uh, your, uh, your fairy godmother? And I found you in the forest. In the forest. <laughs> Little rabbit foo-foo? Yeah. <laughs> Or field mice. Oh, yes, definitely. Field mice. Okay. So, Don't stonewall the question. Yes. That's maybe who you are to me in one of our role play, cosplay, whatever. <laughs> but for everyone else out there, uh -huh. who are you? Well, my name is Gwenda Dawson. Theta. No, that's, that's who you are to someone else. Oh, that's... Who are you? Who am who I? Who are you? I am a healer. Really? Uh, You've resurrected people? Yeah, no. That's a resurrection thing. Not a, not a healer. I am a healer. I am a comrade. So you can heal anyone regardless of free will? No, we're not talking that way. Okay. That's a whole other subject. All right, so you're a healing facilitator? Sometimes. Okay, there we go. Now, yeah, now we're they, talking. You know what? Why? People don't call it that. I, well, people, the, the people, people, people have ego, and you don't have ego. So the truth of the matter is, until you resurrect someone. <laughs> okay. Okay? Does that, does that you're just wait, facilitating. Wait, wait, you're does, a conduit. Does that take into account when I... No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a different erection. Oh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and, All right. And, and, and you, you had my free will at hello. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh, so. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. This, this is a different kind of show. Okay. So what other question do you have? Okay. Who are you? I'm Glenda. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Who are you? Um, I'm a teacher. Okay. I'm a mentor. Okay. Uh, I um, do a lot 
of service. And oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Hi, we, yeah, we definitely Hi, need we definitely need to explain service, okay? <laughs> Okay. No before, happy endings. Before we, we get there, I want to explain to those that are here already. Um, we're in transition from. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no. <laughs> I ain't cutting off six inches for nobody. Okay. The show is in transition. <laughs> Not transition of the show. The show. The show is in, in transition. transition. Okay. Yes. I can go along with that. The show is in transition. And so. We are still doing a show today. So uh, I still can't get into the women's group. Still can't get into okay. the women's group. <laughs> Somehow I'm relieved. <laughs> oh my God. And he still hasn't changed, people. So Well, wait a minute. I did change, actually. <laughs> Bill, I, I even showered for this shit. Okay. okay. Feel free to. <laughs> But but why don't you start the way you started all the other shows? Since obviously we're going down that track. <laughs> okay, so everybody, welcome to Glendus Dragons Den. We are here today, so LD can intru interview me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why we're here today? Because I think the Archangels had a busier day planned than that. But what's on the T-shirt? That's where I'm looking. What, what do you need uh, to start? Yeah! That's what you need I to start. need to start with saying I'm apologizing ahead of time for whatever happens in the show. Okay, good. Now I have license. Thank today. you. Today. Yeah. So. The table's not going to handle both of us at the same time. So. No, no. Everybody's pretty safe. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. Where did it begin for you? Where did it begin for me? It began when I was born. When I was born, I was given special gifts. Okay. W which lifetime are we talking this about? This one. Okay. I'm not talking about any other lifetime. All right, so in the other lifetimes, you weren't given special gifts. Mm, that's for me to know and nobody else to find out. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, it's going to be a short interview, folks. <laughs> yeah. Just check that column all the way down if I let her, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it is. Okay, that's listen. Yes. There is a book uh -huh. coming out. Uh huh. Okay. And you are naked in it. I am not naked in it. You are naked in it. I am not naked in it. Okay. Don't go there. I'm not naked. Not naked at all. Not all right. Jor-El. Uh-huh. Put you in the spaceship. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. On what planet? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's in the book. Oh. It's, it's oh. in the book. I wrote this so many years ago. So many years ago. <laughs> Andrew's gonna have your ass for that. <laughs> I can well, hear so many years ago. So maybe Andrea will come next week or the week after and give me shit for it. No pressure, Andrew. <laughs> so yes, go ahead. <laughs> what else? I asked the question. So what what planet were you on? <laughs> I'm on Earth. <laughs> were you on? It's it's gonna be a long two hours, folks. Uh -huh. Okay, when when they hit us with the golden axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um. It's a matter of record this week, anyway. Yes, so. I, I know. All right, so come on, come on. I really don't remember. Sorry. I, I, uh, I think I actually put that out of my mind right now. Okay. Yes. But it wasn't this planet. No, it wasn't this planet. Okay, so yes. you, you come from a long, long ago, far, far away galaxy. Uh-huh. 
Maybe it was Palladian. Maybe yeah, it was Palladian. Palladian. Yeah. Oh, did that, did that ring a bell? Yes, it did. It oh, did. we just saved the fairy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh my God! And now we've come full circle. All right, so you. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Matt. Hi, Susan. So you were a Palladian in yes. your first incarnation. Yes. Okay, and you weren't a whole Palladian. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, have you seen my size? Yeah. I can't be a whole of any. Yeah. Well, you, you can be a whole. The same size that we're talking about. You could be quite a whole, but wow. but that's another show. That's another so you were Palladian, yeah. but yeah. your soul wasn't mm -hmm. all there. Right. 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 You want to explain that, Lucy? <laughs> Lucy. Oh, you want me to explain that? Well. Well, you know, if I'm interviewing you, there's no <laughs> sense in starting in the middle because that will get us thrown off the air. <laughs> all right. So. Back then, half of my soul separated and became you. <laughs> this thing. This thing. Which I apologize, people. I, you know, I she got all the good shit. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then uh, I came through my whatever particular lifetimes learning my lessons and doing whatever I needed to do and you did yours separately and this is one of the lifetimes where we met to share our knowledge but it's not our first rodeo no it's not because I was able to stay on more than eight seconds <laughs> oh, God. so it's not like you know we went through all these lifetimes you know and <laughs> Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. All right. So we we have incarnated together before. Yes. Is is that your story and you're sticking to it? Yeah. Uh, I'm not cleaning that up. So being no, uh-huh. He's not that visual. Yes, he is. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. So, so uh -huh. in that lifetime. Uh-huh had you gifts and i'm not talking about palladian level gifts because you're obviously a palladian mm -hmm. i'm talking about compared to human evolution okay the palladians are a little ahead of our time oh, yeah. okay so you started there and obviously you must have screwed up because you came <laughs> back this time as a freaking human mostly mostly, mostly. But Palladian. I didn't much, much. I didn't use much of the human. So I'm like this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so since you brought it up, we're gonna do measurements. No. We're yeah. Gonna do measurements. What's your height? Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to know. At what's your height? Under five. Under five. And over four. Not your. <laughs> not your IQ. Wow. Yeah. wow! I apologize if you witness a killing today. Come on, you got a whole group cheering out there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. under five. So, so you're four six. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Should we go with four six? You no, like that? No. No. Six, no. no? no. More or less. Uh, more. Okay. Just leave it at that. <laughs> leave what's, the, it. what's the magic word? I don't kill you if you don't <laughs> say it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of magic. Yeah, there you go. All right, so uh -huh. you're, you're between four, six, and five. Yes. Okay. Yes, leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. But I mean, you know, these, these people see us, and that's probably one of the first things. That, <laughs> that come to mind? Yeah, yeah and, and how long does it take right. you to climb on top would be the other one. So I am sure that never has popped up. <laughs> Okay, we'll move that. <laughs> we'll leave the pop ups alone. Yes. So, you're four six. No. We are between four six and five. Yes. Okay, somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. All right. And you originated as Palladian. 
Yes. And within a hundred, how many lifetimes ago? Uh, about 50. Okay, so you've been busy. I've been busy. Okay, we've been busy. Well. Because this ain't my first rodeo either. No. That's how I was able to stay on more than eight seconds. <laughs> Which, you know, there'll be people that might want to tell you otherwise, but <laughs> not every ride is the same, if you know what I'm saying. So. <sighs> uh -huh. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, by the way, is, is she a good color? Because she was a little pale when we started <laughs> the show. I'm trying, trying to liven her up a little bit. All right. So uh -huh. here we are. Yeah in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. All right. And the first admitted contact you've had mm -hmm. with Archangels, mm -hmm. you weren't even two. Correct. Correct. It was the day before your second birthday. It's the one you're, you're yes. willing to talk about. The one I'm willing to talk about. Okay. And before that day, you weren't able to walk. Correct. And you were told. That I wasn't able ever to be able to walk. Ever. 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 Oh God. In this lifetime. Yes. Because in other lifetimes, obviously, you walked all over people. <laughs> and yet, wow. knowing this. <laughs> but that's another show. So uh -huh. why weren't you able to walk? Because that's gonna be the second thing when people see it. It's a birth defect. Okay. There you go. Yeah, but it's it's not just a little sprained ankle. It's serious. No, it's birth defect. Serious never be able to walk birth you, defect. Yes. People could look that up and know that people with that birth defect, mm -hmm. with the freaking exception of you, will probably never walk. Right. Um, it takes a lot. Nowadays, you know, medicine has gone to a great extent. Well, we have antibiotics and everything now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. yep, uh -huh. so, uh -huh. but at that time, uh -huh. for you at that age, yep. you were, nowhere in the world, generally, people with that birth defect would be able to walk. So I've heard, yes. So what the fuck happened? Well, uh, three archangels appeared. Okay, do you know these archangels? Yes, I do. Are they known to you? Yes. Can you name them for the... Uh, uh, I'll name two. Okay. Michael and Raphael. Okay. Yes. So we share those two. Yeah, so far. So far. <laughs> they might be jumping ship too after this. Okay, but up to, you know, no, everything is, is <laughs> seared into the moment of reality that we are perceiving. Yes. Right. So Michael and Raphael, yes. and, and one to be named later, perhaps. Uh-huh. And they said, get off your lazy ass. They didn't say that, right? <laughs> That's right. They, you really haven't established the rapport yet. No. They I might didn't. say it to you now, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really okay. But back then, in two, they took, a little, they took a little pity on you. I wasn't two yet. Uh, well, but you were a day away. You know, it's like tomorrow. <laughs> like Don't make me sing, because ain't nobody got time for that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, Lordy, Lordy. Uh, so I'm sitting in my usual rocking chair. Your usual rocking chair. Okay. On the front. Oh, no, I said this house. for us. You're, you're at your mom's house. Parents' house. Parents' house. Uh, my mom's house. Uh, well, it was part of your mom's house. Well. You, you were there with your mom. Yes. Dad was out in the field somewhere doing whatever he did or whatever. <laughs> he wasn't home, right? That was at the accounting office being a CPA. Okay. <laughs> so he was in the field. We call that in the, if you're not home, we call that out in the field. Because maybe he was, you know, looking books somewhere. He might not have been in his office. But anyway, he wasn't home. It was you and Mom. Yes. You're on the porch. Yep. In your little rocking chair. Yep. Because you, you said it was yours. It wasn't somebody else's that you occasionally would climb up into and rock yeah. it. No, no. This was your modus operandi yes. between one and two at least. Yes. Okay. And you're in the rocking chair. Uh -huh. And three archangels. Yep, up here. Who are, who are known to you already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your you're old friends. They're old friends. And what did they say? They said, get up. And I said, I can't. I got told I can't walk. 
And whoa, whoa. Who told you? Who told you? Because obviously you're walking here. Uh -huh. You're walking here. But who told you you couldn't walk? Oh, the experts. The experts. Really? Uh, what the hell's an expert? It's the doctor. Oh, doctor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they think so. Anyway. So, yeah. The doctor <laughs> said you can't walk. Correct. All right, and the archangel said, he's just a doctor. Yeah, basically. We're a little above that pay grade. Right. Exactly. And, and so how did they convince you? They actually, one of them actually took my hand. Hey, well, and is it one of the two you've named? No. I'm not going to ask you the third name because no. obviously he's gun shy or no. she's gun shy. No. It was, it was the third one. The third. the third one took your hand. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> And they don't like this, this <laughs> badgering over here. All right. So the third one, who I'm not going to name, <laughs> yeah. took your hand. Something just fell over, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, something that fortunately is not still burning. <laughs> yeah. So, so the third one took your hand. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and you got up off your ass. I got up, and I just walked. Like any two-year-old would, would be walking. And I went inside the house and I went to the kitchen where my mom was preparing, you know, preparing ahead of time for dinner. And um, she screamed when she saw me because I did say, hi, mom. Like, hey, could I get, actually I asked, could I have some milk? And- um, She let you sit out there that whole time without milk mm -hmm. at two? It was like two seconds. Oh, okay. But she I, was she was a good mother. Yeah, I'm, I'm just the mom. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I didn't mean to intimate. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. In case yeah. that was you. No, that but, wasn't her. Oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't, that uh, wasn't her. All right. That was somebody else. Okay, mom. Uh, so you asked for milk. Yep. And she looked at me and she realized that I was there and she screamed and proceeded to faint. Well, not only were you there, but you were upright because you probably could have gotten off and crawled in there. Yeah. You could. I'm actually, not saying you would. But. Actually, I was very inventive in that little rocking chair. I would rock back and forth and actually basically get myself around the whole house. So, so that yeah. accounts for why you bounce off the walls to this day. If that counts for there's nothing anybody can tell me I cannot do in that Oh, good. <laughs> you cannot ever be a, a billionaire. Ever. There you go. I All right. Be. Okay. All so, right. anyway. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Dolores. So, mm -hmm. the first thing you did was abuse your mother, and then... <laughs> abuse my mother. <laughs> and then did you at least... Look! We already got did, this. Did you at least get us some water? No, the neighbor who heard her screaming came over. Oh, okay, because at that point, I don't think you could reach the sink, so it was no. probably a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's like that old joke, where do you think she got the tea? So, wow. So what the neighbor said. Somebody's already saying wow. <laughs> so the neighbor said. Uh-huh. Because the neighbor probably knew. Yes, well, I don't exactly remember what the neighbor said, oh, okay. but I do remember the neighbor coming Fortunately, the neighbor didn't scream and pass out. You didn't start a whole freaking conga line. No, I don't think of that kind of thing. Okay, good. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. So, yes. so that's where you really started being mobile. Yes, that's where I started being mobile. Okay, and mobile is not a sponsor of the show, <laughs> but if they want to be, <laughs> we'll talk. Anyway, uh -huh. that's when you first started being mobile. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you haven't slowed down. And I haven't slowed yeah, I haven't down. slowed down. Yeah, I slowed down a little every once in a while. And then all that pent up energy just again. But <sighs> your mother wasn't exactly without her gifts. Correct. All right. So this was above and beyond her expectations. Yes. We'll say. Yes. Okay. So you were ahead of your time. Okay. And a little advanced for your age. A little, yes. And that hasn't changed either. <laughs> <coughs> just, you know. Yes, I Just like try to, to give you a benchmark. I, I like to overanalyze everything. 
Yeah. <laughs> that, that could happen, folks. So. Uh-huh. Yes. We have you at two. <laughs> Obviously, it was a good birthday. <laughs> yes, it was a good birthday. It was a good birthday. Actually, five years old was better, but yeah, two. Okay, two so, years. so let's go to five. What happened at five? Who'd you make fall down and, and pass out at five? No, I actually took somebody's headache away. You took somebody's headache away? Yeah, Did you leave the rest of the head? Just wow. take the egg? Or... No. Because in previous lives, we have taken people's heads away. But that's another story. <laughs> no, I, at my fifth birthday party, one of the neighbors had a headache. And she came over, and I put my hands around her head like this. Uh-huh. And, and you didn't pop like a zit. I didn't pop like a zit. Okay. And then she felt her head going away, and by the time I took my hands, her head was done. And did she? Did you tell her what your intention was? No. Okay. At five years old. Well, you were speaking before well, five years old. I was speaking when I was six months old. So it's not... As if you couldn't have true. told her. True, true. All right. So you put her, your hands on her head, and did she say, Don't touch me! I can see what you can do. You're walking. No. No. Actually, yeah. people felt always very safe around me. Okay. Why am I an exception? But anyway, that's another show. Tip. So, <laughs> five years old. Uh-huh. And... You were able to facilitate Uh someone's relief from the ache in their head. Correct. And then what happened? What did they say? Did they acknowledge that? Uh, Yeah, they acknowledged that. But that's just one of the incidents I... Okay, but that made your fifth birthday better. Yeah, of course. Because it made me feel good that I was able to help someone. Okay, and hopefully they bought a freaking present at least. Yes. All right. Whatever they could. Whatever they could, but, you know, a little token, a rock, something, a stick, a twig, an herb, a berry, whatever. Something something showed up. Yeah. All right, so they were grateful. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. And where are we going from there? Because... You're the interviewer. Yeah, and that's why I just asked you a question. That's called a question. That's how these things work. I ask the questions, and if you freaking feel like it, you might answer one here and there. Maybe. Maybe. So, you know, we went from two to five. Yeah. What's your next benchmark that you want to share with the listening audience? Benchmark. Nine years old. Nine years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me about nine years old. Well, uh, my father and I were in Spain. Okay, you guys got a rat. Yeah, a little. And At least he was with you. Because if I said a nine-year-old got around, people <laughs> would go different direction. But so you, you went to Spain yeah. Yeah, with your father. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And nine years old. Yeah, and I was in school for the day. And School for the day is like, like a special school? Wow. Anyway, and in that school, they were very strict. And unless you ate your lunch, you didn't get recess time. So if you don't eat your meat, you can't have any recess. Uh-huh. How can you have any recess if you don't eat your meat? <laughs> oh, God damn Lord. Carla, I would get rid of my own headache if I could. Nah, she's stuck with me. So anyway... <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so anyway, yeah, so, so yeah, you're, you're in day school. Come on. Uh-huh. It's only a two-hour show, they, and we're only at nine. They, um, they told me I needed to eat my lunch, or otherwise I couldn't go out, and I hate it. I was very picky. Well, what was it? Uh, actually, I love it now, but it was pea soup. I hated pea soup. But the first time through. Huh? Yeah. Okay, really fun. pea soup. Yeah. What, did it have ham in it? Yes. Okay, so there was meat involved. I just want to, you know. And there were potatoes in it. I'm, I'm just worried about the meat because I wouldn't want to, you know, be misleading the people out there because I was talking about meat. So um, pea soup, you didn't want to eat your pea soup not, at that moment because, you know, tastes do change. Yes, yes, every seven years. And, well, and, and so do women's minds and, and their prerogatives. So that doesn't usually take seven years. But back then she didn't like pea soup. Right. Right. So you were adamant. Right. And 
I closed my eyes. Uh oh. And I said, I need, I need time outside. And all of a sudden, they changed their mind, even though I hadn't even tasted a little bit of it. And they said, okay, you could go. Everybody else had to stay in the table until they finished. Uh, but I got to go outside. You got to go outside. And, and you got to go outside on your own power. Yeah. All uh, right. You weren't ejected. Nope. No. Okay. I went out and played. I had a great time. Okay, and and that was the big nine-year-old reveal. Yeah. yeah. All right, and where are we going from nine? Thirteen. Thirteen. Ooh, this is this is getting good. <laughs> so, what happened at thirteen? If you can disclose, you you can withhold names. I drowned. Wow. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even come close to 13 in that game. Please. <laughs> I drowned. You drowned. Sides. Yep. Okay, so what do you mean you drowned? Because you didn't drown. You're freaking here. Uh -huh. So you didn't drown. So let's not exaggerate. I did drown. No, you didn't drown. Yeah. You're here. No, no. How can you I, be here I, if you drowned? Explain, I Lucy. I was taken by the undertow and she's a high speech. You were taken by the undertow. Is that like the viper? Yeah, the viper. And I was taken out. You were very caught. Very far. You were caught in an undertow. Very far. Because the undertows are not personified, very even far. in seaside ice. Very far out. All right, you were taken out at thirteen. Yes. Okay. And. And you were taken out at thirteen. And I was taken out at thirteen. Okay. Yes, I did die. You, you died? Yes, I did. But you can't die because you're here. Uh, well, they brought me back. Who brought you back? Uh, the archangels and the people on the other side, my family on the other side. They, they said, said, you're not getting out of it this easy. Nope. you got to meet that asshole. <laughs> right. Exactly. I don't like that. Yeah, okay. They didn't say it exactly like that. Okay. They said I still had things to do. You so. still had things to do. Yeah, so. But you didn't get caught in the undertow on purpose. No, of course not. Okay, because beware the undertow. I used to love to swim and all that. You know. All right. I went out that was the end of that shit. Yeah, that was the end of that. It's like, yeah, no, I just skip that. Okay, so you, you were caught in the undertow. Yeah. yeah. And you were down and... Yeah. You were drowned, and uh -huh. and so how did that? How do you remember coming back? What What do you remember after? You because you said you were dead, and you know I'll take how you do I for remember? it. I remember. No, I not how, but what? What I remember the the paddles on my chest. Paddles. Those. those oh. Electric. Clear. Clear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember <clears throat> that. yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, so. They actually defibrillated you. Yes. Okay. Yes. A little extreme. Yeah, well, I was gone. Okay. I was gone. But you came back. Yes, I came back. All right. And and that wasn't the last time. That I died now. Okay. But that was 13. Yep. And that was the best thing that happened to you when you were 13. Yeah. Well, that's understandable. Because I got to see the other side. Yeah. Well, okay. And, 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 and you got to come back. No, that wasn't too much of a Oh, uh, well, yeah. But, you know, I, I'm doing the best I can here. Yeah, you know, look Feel at what I got to work with. So, <laughs> be on the other side and experience them, and and feel the love and feel the, the peacefulness and the overwhelming, just overwhelming good, universal love. And did you get any omniscience while you were there? Did you like suddenly start understanding all sorts of different things? That you know, did anything start making sense to you that you remember or? Oh, I yeah. hope, did you forget I overanalyze things? So by the time that I get anywhere, I know. <laughs> I understand it. <laughs> Goes through my mind like. So we're going to focus on peace and love and joy and all the emotional that, the, you know, that you women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, so you got that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. It's like two and two. What am I, Chuck Woolery here? No, I'm not. <laughs> just to make that clear uh, one of those uh -huh. is enough so all right so that was 13 that was and 13. that was the best thing that happened to you that now all of this you know all these times you get to play and hang out with the archangels and mm -hmm. chat and all that mm -hmm. 
they never told you about the other side. They never. They told me, but t telling somebody and experiencing is a whole other. Thing. Okay. Yeah. So you don't trust the archangels. I don't trust anybody. Okay, well that's understandable. So. <laughs> Come on, I argue with them. Yeah, I know you argue with them, but, you know, they tell you, but, you know, no, you got to go and find out for yourself. Yeah. I okay, so that was 13. Yeah. Where are we going from there? <laughs> you driving? Dave doesn't let me drive. Dave doesn't let me drive. Yet. Thanks, Dave. And, and, it's Thanks, not my Dave. Son, and it's not my son, Dave. Yeah, or, that's, that's or, David. Or my daughter's boyfriend's Dave. Yeah, we're going to leave him out of this. So, <laughs> no, it's just one particular thing. Do you want me to drive? No. Okay. <laughs> so, where are we going next? Thirteen. Um. Let's see. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. At least we're speeding it up here because we're nine. We we went two to nine to thirteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. And what happened at fifteen? That you're willing to talk about. I got about. my quinceanera. 